What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Scott Free, and this is The Sounds of Sunday. Thank you for tuning in on this June 28th, Sunday, 2020 show, right here on the Sunday of Sunday. I am your host, Scott Free. Stay tuned. Coming up is my R&B music mix, right here on the Sounds of Sunday.
And yes, coming back. I hope you enjoyed the, um, this R&B music set for this June 28th, 2020 show. What you just heard is one by the whole other with The Basement Strut. And before that, you heard one by Diamond Ortiz with Inevitable. And kicking off, I mean, actually, on this extended R&B music set was one by Joe Begal with Miles and Prince. And kicking off this R&B music set was one by Dan Leibowitz with Come and Get It, right here on the Sound of Sunday. Thank you for tuning in this afternoon on this June 28th, 2020 show. I am your host, Scott Free. I am your mo- host producer, music host and music producer, uh, tongue tied right here on the Sound of Sunday. Um, I actually just want to actually, I you know, in the news, I just have a question um, for all my congressional members out there um, in the uh, House and Senate about this COVID-19 um, pandemic. Um, has anybody actually asked um, Dr. Fauci? Um, with all due respect to Dr. Fauci, but I wanted to find out basically, how did you know actually during your university speech um, a couple of years ago, or years ago, a year ago, that there was going to be some kind of um, pandemic that was actually going to take place during the Trump administration. Um, I'm not sure, uh, you know, I, I know you have expertise, but how are you 100% correct that there was going to be a pandemic and then it actually struck during this, during this administration? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of curious, I, I, and I'm not actually kind of curious about all my congressional members out there. Um, have you asked this question to Dr. Dr. Fauci? Uh, because I'm still, I'm still wondering, you know, um, basically I'm, I'm wondering the answer to this question. How did you know in detail that there, there was going to be a pandemic during this administration? How? Okay. Um, unless it was basically, in my opinion, unless it was planned. Okay, because everybody in this world is actually going through this, and especially in the United States. So I'm really wondering, I'm, it's boggling my mind, okay? But I really would like to know the answer to this. I am a political scientist um, from the University of California, um, Regencies, and I'm just curious how Dr. Fauci a year ago or so during a universal, uh, during a university speech, actually came up and actually admitted to the fact that there was going to be a ten minute pandemic during this um, during Trump's administration. I, I would just like to know. I'm sure everybody in America would like to know too, um, because it hit just exactly as he, he had stated. Okay, um, so uh, you know, I'm just curious. Anyway, coming up is my smooth jazz music mix. Kicking off this one, you're going to hear one by Rage with Sunny Over the Horizon, right here on the Sounds of Sunday. Right back.
and coming back. That was a nice little cut called Silent Observer by Sarah, the instrumentalist. And before that, you heard one by Bass Snacks with Equinox. And before that, on this extended smooth jazz music mix, was one by Brothers Records with Sleeplessness, one of my favorites. And kicking off, as I said, kicking off the smooth jazz music mix was one by Rage with Sunny Over the Horizon. It figures. As I get I actually get in the studio and start recording, uh, my phone gets to ring it. But anyway, uh, so I'm hoping you actually enjoyed the smooth jazz music mix right here on the Sounds of Sunday. I am your host, Guy Free. And <clears throat> actually, coming up is my last music mix of the day, which is my international music mix. Okay. But before that, actually, I want to give out a shout out to uh, all my content creators out there, especially Brother T. West. Um, because this is actually, I'm going to be actually be, uh, announcing for our reparations, um, with everything going on in this society. Um, we have not gotten our reparations yet, which is way over, way overdue. Okay. So <clears throat> shout out to, um, brother T West, keep up the good fight and I'm gonna fight with you. Okay. Cause we actually are looking at, um, economic wage economic um a serious economic gap in this country and it's been that way for a while um so actually we are actually actually demanding reparations this year okay um so i'm actually hoping that our president donald trump actually consider this this year um for re-election whatever um but i have i have a somewhat of an idea what what President Trump, the administration, were actually thinking about doing. But I'll, I'll leave that for another day. Um, as far as our reparations, I believe that we're going to get it. And a shout out to um, Brother Bill, Bill Johnson about the, uh, well, Bob Johnson about the reparations that he put forth um, as far as the $13 trillion. I think that's a, that's a good number. And also, um, I think that we ex actually, as a as a black, Amer I mean, actually, as a African American culture, need to think about it. Um, if and when we get it, not, not if, but when we get it, what we're going to do with it? We need to start thinking about investing. Okay, land, <laughs> businesses, whatever. Don't just think about you're going to get something free, and then actually just sit on it or just go out and buy stupid stuff with it. That's that does not is not going to make sense at all. Okay. If we get the reparations, if and when we get the reparations, we can actually get back into this economy and build this economy up better than it was. Okay. Um, so right now we're in a, somewhat of a recession. Okay. But just think about it, folks. Think about what you want to do in case, well, um, if you get your portion as an African descendant, descendant from Africa. The UK is already actually petitioning the fact for reparations for slavery in the Caribbean. <laughs> And also in the African um, diaspora, um, basically uh, considering the petition. Now, if I, basically I want everybody to listen to my voice to actually, if you can, get with the U UK, okay? Get with the UK and help with the petition. I'm going to be doing it myself. Um, I'm not sure if this is all um, relegated to the delegates of the UK or whatever, but we need to keep pushing, okay? We need a change in this country and it's coming. It's here. The change is here. Okay. So shout out to all my content creators out there who's pushing reparations because this is way overdue. Okay. We have, we have a serious problem in our um, economic gap here. Okay. Where we are actually at the lowest point. I mean, we are actually at the bottom. There's other groups, other cultures that come over that, that has came over here and actually have gotten above us already. This don't make no sense. Okay, we've been here longest. We've actually helped build this country, and yet we're the lowest people on the totem pole. So keep pushing for reparations. I am going to certainly keep pushing for reparations because we're overdue. Anyway, coming up is my last music mix, my international music mix, right here on the Sounds of Sunday. I'll be right back.
That was a nice little cut by Mike Harris with Rubber Dub. And before that, you heard Silent Partner with Summon the Island. And before that was Rick Steele. Rick Steele with Control. And kicking off this international music mix, extended music international mix, was Doug Maxwell and Meteorite Productions with Reggae. What? Right here on the side of the Sunday. Thank you for thank you for tuning in this afternoon. I am your host Scott Free, your music producer and MC. Um, during this uh, pandemic, COVID nineteen, I hope everybody stays safe. Um, and just you know, I know people are actually still pissed off about these masks, um, and rightly so. But at the same time, you still got to be you know be cautious, be careful. Okay. And to all my brothers and sisters out there, make sure you actually <clears throat> take and, you know, basically take precaution. Okay. Have your head on a swivel because there's some people actually that that's losing their minds right now and they don't mind taking people out. Okay. But anyway, I am host Scott Free and I'll see you back here next Sunday, right here on the sounds of Sunday. Later. Huh?